This week, 355 new stalls were installed in the United States and Canada, bringing the total stalls to 54,791. Blink added eight stations, Pilot Flying J added one, Tesla added 18, and a viewer asked if I was able to identify which of these stations in Tesla are Magic Dock locations, and the answer is yes, I have found a way of doing so, and I'll be doing so in this report and all others going forward, and you'll see how I do so. ChargePoint added 16, EVgo added three stations, but it should be noted that the total number of stations for EVgo decreased, so they must have closed some older stations. EV Connect added four, Rivian Adventure Network added one, Francis Energy added one. Let's get into the data. First one is Blink. Nothing really to call out here. At Live Oak, Florida is the interchange of Interstate 75 and Interstate 10, so that's a good location. They've got a two-stall station there at a Waffle House. And for some reason in the state of Florida, <coughs> Waffle Houses <coughs> tend to be locations where um, EV charging gets put in. I'm not exactly sure why that is. Franklin, North Carolina is a pretty rural area of western North Carolina, and uh, Blink added a one-stall station at a Ford. Pilot Flying J added one. You see the station name is 392. This is a location that is not a Pilot fl nor a Flying J. <clears throat> it's actually one of their knockoff brands called One Nine, and it's the first One Nine location getting the GM Energy EVgo Pilot Flying J install in Serona, Kentucky. Okay, so if you look in Tesla's column here for EV connector type, there's a J1772 combo. And you might think, well, J1772 is AC. This is probably just an AC connector that, you know, they've got some kind of destination charger, but it's not. This is a very old EV database. And back in the day, um, they called the CCS1 J1772 combo because you have the J1772 connector and then you have the DC pins tacked on underneath. So that's why they called it that originally, and they've just never changed the name. So this is a CCS1 uh, connector type, meaning Magic Dock. There are three, one in Sil Silverdale, Washington, one in Cedar Park, Texas, and one in Ackworth, Georgia, north of Atlanta. Otherwise, Tesla just doing what Tesla does, kicking ass and taking names. There's a Pleasanton, California 24 stall location and uh, many others. So they had a very active week this week. Next is ChargePoint, and there was a report on LinkedIn indicating that they decreased staff by 15% as a result of some kind of financial contracting, something I'm not quite sure, because from my viewpoint, they're a very active manufacturer and a CPO. They operate some of their charging stations themselves. Most are um, owned by uh, customers, but some they own themselves. So I'm not quite sure why their uh, staff needed to be reduced, assuming that is the case and accurate. Um, I guess perhaps they were uh, overstaffing, expecting higher demand, and that hasn't materialized or something. I don't quite know, but um, there is a report that ChargePoint decreased staff by 15%. I don't see that here, though. I mean, they're still doing what ChargePoint does, very active, and I have coalesced uh, stations that have the same address. So, like, for instance, um, this one here, uh, Starkville, um, Mississippi, in the deep south oh gpm investments that's interesting i didn't know gpm investments um was in arizona i'm gonna have to take a look at this gpm investments is here in north carolina operating what's known as the roadrunner brand of convenience stores and i guess they did one in arizona at tuscan interesting if you go open three an eight stall station in san mateo california and then dallas and rogers minnesota EV Connect is continuing to do what EV Connect does, which is very slow, methodical uh, progress. And usual suspects for them, uh, car dealerships, mostly General Motors branded car dealerships. Rivian added one, a five stall station in Walker, Minnesota, opened just today. Um, there are over 80 stations open. Uh, I'm looking for Pilot Flying J to eclipse them, though, sometime this year. I'm not sure exactly when, but it does seem to be the case. Rivian tends to open either one station a month or two stations a month. It's normally not very active, and Pilot Flying J is on a trajectory to um, lap them pretty quick here. So uh, that'll be interesting to see. But still, they did open a new station this um, week, uh, just today. Francis Energy added one in Des Moines, New Mexico. 
I didn't know there was a Des Moines, New Mexico. Anyway, um, at a San, uh, Sierra Grande Travel Center, four stall station. Shell Recharge, I mentioned last week, um, was putting entries in w with their acquisition of Volta. And apparently they didn't finish because this week a whole bunch more added. And if you look at the open date, this is all uh, yesterday. So I guess they had additional uh, stations to enter into the database. This Tangiers outlet is one where Volta is uh, present at uh, multiple places. So like, for instance, maybe in North Carolina, there's two, the Northwest entrance, the Northeast entrance. So anyway. And an additional honorable mention, Florida Power and Light. And if you look at these dates, um, were all recently added. So Florida Power and Light has uh, also been making very steady progress. And in the state of Florida, which Nevi is being held up on, uh, these are a site for sore eyes. Thanks for watching.